What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm bringing you the official announcement of the JTW Tag Team Championship Tournament. So in this video I'm going to be revealing things such as the competitors, the dates, how it's all going to work, the rules of the actual matches because like I said in the announcement video of the Tag Team Championships, we aren't doing traditional tag team wrestling. This is going a bit different. This is sort of my own little spin on things. So let's start off with that point. How we are doing things here at JTW isn't traditional tag team wrestling. It's not tornado tag. It's not two teams facing each other at the same time. It's more of a gauntlet elimination style. So say for example we take a match that has previously happened. JD Bailey and Bad B versus Joe Anthony and Zach Rowe. In the tournament, how it's going to work is each team will pick a starting member. So in this case, Bad B and Joe Anthony. I would start off facing Bad B. one on one. If I beat Bad B, JD Bailey comes on. If JD Bailey beats me, Zach comes on. And it's literally last man standing. So if Zach beats JD Bailey, myself and Zach win. If JD Bailey beats Zach, he wins with Bad B. And it doesn't have to be that. It could be a clean sweep. I could beat Bad B and JD Bailey. Zach hasn't even got involved in the match, but we win the match. Do you guys get what I'm saying? It's more of a gauntlet style tag team wrestling. So that's the first change. Now we've got a bit of an odd number here for the tournament. Normally you want about eight teams to do a proper, you know, first round, semi-final, um, final. You, you To do it properly, you need about, you know, six to eight teams. I've been a bit unlucky here and I've only got five. So, let's announce the competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, myself and Zach Rowe, Joe Anthony and Zach Rowe, that one was a given. Bad B and JD Bailey. El Jantonio and Malasalto. Panda and Panda. Yes, if you haven't seen, there is two pandas now. Check out Panda's Day Out too. And the final team is a big return to JTW, a man that hasn't been seen since the 2018 Rivalry Rumble. We have the returning Danny McCarthy teaming with Jax Sykes. They're your five teams, ladies and gents. A pretty stacked lineup. I mean, that return of Danny's a big one. Danny is not one to be slept on. He's a black belt kickboxer. He will kick your head off. Now that's the competitors. I've got the bracket set up. I'll flash it on screen right now. Here's the current bracket. Now as you're looking at the bracket, you're probably thinking, hang on, why are Joe and Zach already in the semi-final? Well, ladies and gents, that was because, obviously, I am the current JTW World Heavyweight Champion. And Zach Rowe has recently just become the current JTW Intercontinental Champion. Now we get champions advantage in this tournament because our championships mean that we have beaten pretty much everyone there is to beat in JTW. We don't actually have to advance through the tournament like everyone else. So the first round will be Bad B and JD Bailey taking on Panda and Panda. This will be on August 8th. This whole tournament will take place throughout the month of August. Every single Saturday there will be a tournament upload at 5.15pm. British summertime. So round one, match one. Bad B and JD Bailey taking on Panda and Panda. Round one, match two. El Jantonio and Malasalto will be taking on Jack Sykes and Danny McCarthy. The winners of each of their matches will advance to the semi-final triple threat match. Now this is not the gauntlet rules. It, we're not doing it that way. We're doing it a bit different. This time, one member of each team will represent the team in the triple threat. This match is very strange because it doesn't matter who wins. It only matters who loses. So the three teams will face off one member of each team representing. So I could represent me and Zach. Whoever gets pinned or submitted for their team is out of the tournament. So say, for example... It's me versus Bad B versus Jack Sykes. If Bad B pins me, Bad B and Jack Sykes advance to the finals and me and Zach are out. Is that clear with everyone? Hopefully. It is a bit of a strange rule. So that's the triple threat. 
that will be taking place on the 22nd of August. So round one, match one on the 8th. Round one, match two on the 15th. Round two, the semi-finals. Match one, the triple threat, the only match in round two will be taking place on the 22nd. And then finally, the winners of that match will advance to the finals. They will advance into a tag team match for the tag team championships. On the 29th of August, we will crown a brand new first ever JTW tag team champions. And I will give you a little spoiler I've been looking for another championship to add to my already impressive resume for a while. So, Zach Rowe and Joe Anthony will be your first ever JTW Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gents, a lot of work, a lot of thought, a lot of effort has been put into this tournament. So I hope you enjoy it. On the 8th, on the 15th, on the 22nd and on the 29th of August, we will bring you the first time JTW has proper structured tag team wrestling i hope all the rules are clear if they aren't comment in uh, the comment section down below and i will answer any questions you guys have any questions at all regarding the tag team championship tournament if you're unsure about how it's going to work out if you're unsure about the rules let me know and i will get back to you but ladies and gentlemen I am your future JTW Tag Team Champion, Joe freaking Anthony, and I will see you guys in the tournament. Goodbye.